Hi everyone, welcome to my plus two numero tres, um, possibly numero cuatro, but I'm not sure yet because I did a stitch with me in Spanish prior to this video, so it all depends on how everything loads, but it's either three or four, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so today I want to speak about my haul that I have been um, piling up within the past few weeks due to a lot of the shipping delays that I'm pretty sure all of us have been experiencing throughout the past few months. A lot of my items that I kind of placed and forgot that I placed started coming in within the past two weeks so why not just do a massive haul today with you guys um so therefore be ready because i have a gigantic box of stuff um don't judge me first things first don't judge me because i did buy a lot of things to just um stock myself up because i didn't have any floss any fabric so I just figured why not just order everything all in one shot and just in case if we have to go under quarantine again knock on wood head I don't know um at least I have um a few things to hold me down for some time I don't want to be in the same situation as last time where I was technically bored because i didn't have any um crafty things to do or stitchy things to do so therefore now i am prepared thank you very much um so yeah let's start i want to start do 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 let's see i kept everything in ziploc bags um let's start with the massive one it's bad um and also note that it's not all of the floss because I did pull a few for um, a few projects that I am working on um, so I would say I'm missing about 50 units out of this box so we can go through this so I ordered I want to say the whole um dmc collection from fire poppies they're awesome guys if you guys haven't shot with them just know they're awesome the whole team there was super nice with me i called them up and i was just like um i want one of each of everything that you have and i thought that they were gonna judge me or just plain old say no they they helped me so I would definitely be shopping with them again super excited to this was my first order with them when i ordered these floss so super excited about that in addition to ordering all the dmc colors of the rainbow i also ordered some agro some blanco all white yummy i'm thinking of using it for black fabric i don't know i feel like i've seen a lot of people having a love-hate relationship with the black fabric i'm not sure i don't know what the deal is if you are not a fan of black fabric let me know why um i think i'm missing the memo here or i'm missing something so just let me know and i can kind of be predisposed before i start stitching um and then i also ordered some black 310 i did some extra ones because who doesn't need 310 we all do right in addition to that i actually ordered um my background is fashion design um went to school for it went to art school so um a lot of the things that we did especially with color theory we did have to become familiar with the color wheel so i don't know where my color wheel is at but i ordered a pocket mixing color wheel i should know the majority of these mixtures but just in case i forget 
I have a good memory trigger triggerer that's not a word a good memory trigger it's a pocket size one it's cute it's adorable it helps um, especially when you're trying to do different color palettes for your stitches and things like that I think it's gonna be helpful for me when I start selecting a few more projects that I have in mind so it'll help it helps you have your primary colors your you should have your tertiary colors complementary colors um, split complementary so you, it's I mean it's a good resource I don't know if a lot of people use it I do it's awesome um, I know the majority of it but I need a refresher because I have not done color theory in a while um, in addition to that from fire poppies I got what else did I get from them? Do, 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 do. Oh, this. I didn't need it because I wanted to save it. They sent some Charleston shoes. How adorable is that? I need to eat it. I haven't had these in probably about 15 years. 15 or 20 years. I'm not sure. But I haven't seen these in forever probably 15 years um that was like elementary school i don't even remember what was the last time i had a charleston shoe i actually thought that they were out of production so it's good to know that there's a different type of chocolate that i like so yeah um i placed an order one of many with one two three stitch i purchased a few things including that book 46 count mm -hmm. and some 40 count I'm very into the tinies um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna uh, stitch these one by one one over one so we'll see how that works, works out um, I also ordered a threader I haven't used it yet I typically don't have issues threading my thread, but um, the reason why I bought it was because sometimes I like to stitch lately at night, and obviously, you know, when you're up already 15, 20 hours straight, I tend to do a lot of all-nighters, or probably, I usually sleep anywhere between 3 to 4, maybe 6 hours a night. 6 is a lot. Um... By the ending of the day, my eyes are shrinking, so I wanted to have this as an emergency safety blanket, so I'll try that out. I also ordered some of these because I learned, sorry for the crinkling, I have everything into vlogs. I ordered some of these because I learned about them via XDitchMD Shiloh. Um, I ordered silky threads. Eh, let me see if I can get them all. So I got purples. I got a um, turquoise, a red, and a black. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them, but I have them. Um, and the reason why I'm saying I'm not sure is because I typically stitch one over one and these are equivalent to two strands of DMC so we'll see how that works out um, but yeah we'll see how that goes um, what else we got here that was from 123 stitch um do, do 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 when did i order this this was early july and i got this last week so fun stuff i ordered also from after i did my after i did my fire poppies order the first time around i decided to go back and order um more stuff <laughs> I decided to go back and order more stuff um, and I did this so let's 
let's see. This, the way they did this is really great. I think I need to tape these things on my fabric. So I ordered a 28 Lugana. A half. I went crazy, guys. I ordered a 18 count Ada half. I also ordered a um, 32 count Bugana. Oh, I'm not saying the name. Stormy Night. The black one was just black. And then the previous one, this one was wheat. Do, do, do. Was wheat. Um, so for this one, if you guys see, it's kind of like a... I don't know if it gives you the true color. It's kind of like gray white maybe blue situation but it looks like the sky hence why it's called stormy night so i'm thinking of doing um i haven't ha i have a half so i'm thinking of doing a long dog sampler on this one i'm thinking of doing three actually on this one i'm not sure if i'm being um what's the word if i'm being it's not overachiever what is the word when you're being too much um i'll figure it out but i want to put three long dog patterns uh samplers on here and i only have a half i only have a half so do you guys ooh, overachieving there we go that's the phrase do you guys think that i'm being overachieving an overachiever with this or you think i have enough um, I want to do death by cross death by cross stitch long dog sampler uh, death by cross stitch hello it's by long dog samplers death by cross stitch pandemic and sansu sansuoyos you guys have to correct me on that one so yes I'm thinking about that I still haven't considered my um, floss have an idea not sure yet but the only reason why I want to do them with that fabric is because I want to have a happy family. So I want to do three in one. So it could be like big mama bear, baby bear kind of thing. Mama and papa bear kind of thing. Um, they're all different sizes. If I'm not mistaken, if the math doesn't trick me, I think. Let me double check right now because I do have it on my phone. Do, 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 do. I'm on my phone. Um death by cross stitch if i do it on a 32 i believe it's going to be 16 by 18 pandemic 16 by 18 and sans swiss swiss um it's going to be 10 by 13 so i think i'll be cutting it short tight um we'll see if i do a two inch border across the board in addition to ordering that from fire poppies i went ahead and ordered these <laughs> um a few people gave me hints on how to just try to find i forget who it was but i'm gonna list it here um who told me in the comments to try a vintage shop for for thimbles but i found these these are um kind of like little like rubber pads so i want to try them they were fairly cheap seven bucks for 64 of them so technically 32 times 32 sets right um so i want to try it and see what happens we'll see i also got two flosses because I was missing these for one of my projects so I'm happy those came in therefore I can continue my project um I found a shop on Etsy called Luminous Fibers um doo -doo -doo. this is the one where you guys are gonna think I'm crazy so I ordered 56 count linen Yay! It's a fat quarter. I think I'm gonna stitch this, stitch this 
one over one one over one guys um so i need two find appropriate needles and find appropriate thread slash floss for this so if you guys have any ideas let me know um i was looking at the holes on these this would be my first time stitching on 56 count um so i was looking at the holes and i'm just like am i gonna be able to use dmc or will i have to use um just regular sewing thread so that's a question for you guys let me know what you guys think give me some suggestions some su some suggestions i won't be using this um soon but i am seriously considering using it we'll see what happens um in addition to that i've been going everywhere on etsy i don't know what's going on with me but i just do it on my way to work so yeah i don't know tell me is it bad i actually got from from hollis hand create i got um a lens wool i'm not gonna take these out because it's very crunchy so i got a lens wool in 40 count and then i got a winter moon in 36 count um so a lot of tiny stitching in addition to that i actually got these scissors these little snippets which i'm excited about because i want to use and if i ever do have a shop guys i think i'm gonna carry these scissors because they're adorable look how tiny these are these are like travel friendly and you want to know something guys these are from put forward these are put for scissors um, so they're from Kelm, Kelm Scott Designs. Um, fun fact, slash not so fun, and it's probably what turned me off from stitching, possibly, I'll blame it on that. I, one time, was, I believe I was coming from Dominican Republic, or go, I think I was coming from Dominican Republic, or somewhere. I do know that I left my house with a pair of small scissors, possibly like this big. Um, they were kind of like cuticle scissors, so they're not that gigantic. They're not like, I don't know, like, uh, what are those called? Like, um, gar gardening scissors. <laughs> and they're not like those, but they were tiny. And I remember I went through customs, totally fine, no issues. Actually, I was beating with stitching. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, if you need a cough, sneeze, into your elbow, just so you guys know. Um, I'll wash my hands after this. But, yeah. So I went through customs, and I was fine. On my way home, coming back from wherever I was at, the mean customs person, the mean TSA whatever equivalent to that was, took my scissors from you guys. Took my scissors. And it was my favorite pair of scissors. They were sharp. They were nice. They cut fabric. They never touched a piece of paper. Because you guys know, once you start cutting, using fabric scissors with paper scissors, sometimes it dulls. I didn't let anybody touch these scissors. And these freaking guys, or gal, gals, girls, I don't know, I won't say who it was, whether it was a guy or girl, they took it from me. I was so mad. So mad. And now I'm happy. Because I have a little set of baby ones. These are awesome. But I do have a question. It says in the instructions, I don't know says in instructions if you purchase a primitive finish it is strongly recommended that you wipe these scissors with a warm damp cloth prior to the first use given to your unique matte, matte finish so if you have these scissors they're saying to wipe it down so they could be matte or they're saying wipe it down so they could be shiny 
I don't know. Help me. Help me. I don't know. Let me know. But these are cute. Look at it. They're adorable. Um, what else? Do, 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 do. Do, do. Last but not least, I found this place called Dragonfly Cottage, and I ordered a few um, baby scraps of fabric, and I ordered these because I just wanted to, like, try it. Um, a 17 by 7, 18 count. Look at it. It's a pretty, pretty color. It's a pretty color. Um, it is an Ada question i know there's people that are ada haters or whatever it is why is that i don't understand um i don't understand what i do know the difference of the fabrics but i just don't understand why they're two different sides um so if you float both sides or float one side let me know i am always open for having some friendly discussions about things like this in addition to that, I also purchased a 26 count linen. Um, it's a Sam and it's 12 by 12. Let me put this behind. It actually is very sandy. Like, it's super stiff too. Look. It's very stiff. Um, but, whatever. I got another 26 count um linen 10 by 20 super thin we'll see we'll see what happens um and i think that is it with haul i think it is is it oh oh and also before i forget I actually put it all the way at the bottom of the box. I'm crinkling. What is it? I'm crinkling. Over right here. I forgot to show you guys. I got these from Fire Poppy. I didn't select it. Oliver actually selected it for me. He works at Fire Poppies. He selected these pretty red fish scissors for me. Look how pretty been using them they're awesome so if you haven't had the chance i tend to um like surprise mail and things like that so when i ordered my massive situation of floss i was just like oh just let me know just send me whatever just send me a pair of scissors whichever ones you select and he selected these for me so i hold them dear to my heart and I also got these from, I want to say Michael's, I went on a mini road trip just from here in the city to like a little bit upstate, probably like 30 minutes from my house, and we ordered, we got, I got these, um, shiny threads, I got a E155 and an E211. I see that this one is a little bit softer if you see the fibers on it than this one. But I try stitching with this one. I don't know how I feel about it. So I do believe that I may have to wax these. Or condition these when I'm using it or as I'm um, as I'm using it it might help but I'm not sure is it just me like do I have to but I'm all I was also trying to stitch it with a 28 count Monaco or a I think it was 28 count or a 30 count so I'm not sure if these are more suitable for larger larger holes it would be like 18 16 14 or if it would be suitable for smaller holes so let me know i do want to potentially use the metallics in some of my work but if i'm a struggle like this 
I ain't trying to use them. So, we'll see. I'm a DMC girl, so I would like to stick, stick with DMC, but I'm not, um, what's the word? I'm not discriminating against other ones. So, we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much what I have, um, what I received within the past two weeks. I did order cones. Yep, I ordered cones. But to my defense, I ordered 310 and white. So black and white. So it shouldn't be that bad because those are standard colors. So who doesn't need a whole bunch of black and white thread? And if it comes, which I'm pretty sure is gigantic, if it comes, I can share with you guys. So, yeah, I don't know. I kind of heard that there was an issue with um, DMC 310 and lack of theirs. So... I'm gonna have a whole cone, guys, so we can share. Sharing is caring. Um, but yeah, aside from that, this is my haul. Um, and yeah, like I'm here stitching. I'll probably hope to stitch a video or show a video within the next few days, possibly maybe next week. We'll see what happens, what my schedule allows, because I have a gigantic paper last paper guys um to hand in um a last paper to hand in so i'm not sure if i'm gonna have enough time to do a third video today of um what my current whip is looking like and i don't want to stop this video to go get it but yeah so i'll keep this just as a call and um yeah just you guys see what i have let me know what do you guys think am i crazy for buying all of these things i'm not sure but let me know aside from that all is well chugging along still here um i hope everyone is doing well i hope everyone's week was working out um well and i hope everyone had a productive week Unfortunately, I still have not gotten my patterns for pandemic and um, doo -doo -doo, death by cross stitch. So I will have to sit here and wait. So therefore, this week I don't have that as a um, whip, a work in progress yet but we will see what happens but yeah um aside from that happy to be here guys but before i leave i do want to thank lisa from kindred kindred stitcher because she's been super supportive she actually shouted me out on her instagram and also she reached out to me directly to let me know Sorry guys, I unplugged my device, sir. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I would like to thank um, Lisa from the Kindred Stitcher because she reached out to me and gave me some support on Instagram, but also gave me a little bit of feedback where I didn't notice that um, on YouTube, if you place your channel or your videos as kids appropriate it technically blocks comments which makes sense but doesn't make sense to me i understand stranger danger don't talk to kids kids don't talk uh well kids don't talk to adults stranger danger but it's kind of like my channel my content content is for kids you know but technically not for kids so she did point out to me that my comment section was turned off so now I know that I have to mark them as not for kids um, in order for you guys to be able to comment. So thank you. Thank you for that and thank you for taking the time to support me on other avenues as well. So that's pretty much it guys. I've been rambling for god knows how long. Um, thank you for staying with me till the end and until next time. Bye.